Hi, my name is Jay Krigowski and this is my colleague Kevin Gutman. And today we will be discussing a unique and intense storm that devastated the United States between January 9th and 12th of 1975. This storm, known as the Super Bowl blizzard, affected the southeastern and central part of the United States. This storm is categorized as a panhandle hook cyclone, and it remains one of the largest January tornado outbreaks in the U.S. today. The storm system produced nearly 45 tornadoes in the southeast, resulting in 12 fatalities and almost 400 injuries. Along with this, there was almost $63 million in damage to the areas affected. The storm later dumped over two feet of snow and killed 58 people in the Midwest. As depicted here, you can see how substantial the amount of snow was. It almost covered a whole entire car. And now, to discuss the graphic depicted here, we will consult with weather expert, Jay Money. Thank you for joining us today, Jay Money. All right, so the heavy snow fell on the left side, the west side of the low pressure system. It moved from Northeast Iowa up through central Minnesota, straight from my boys in Chiron, and then up through Lake Superior. That's all for today's history lesson, folks. I'm Jake Rogowski. And I'm Gutman. Kevin Gutman. And thanks for joining us. Fun fact, it was named the Super Bowl Blizzard because it struck on the weekend of Super Bowl Nine.